Hello, good evening. Hello, Katia. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Um, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, you're fine. How was your day at work? Um, busy, busy. It was busy? And yes, very busy. Ah, okay, good. But it means you had a complicated day today? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> had a complicated day. <laughs> All right. Do you usually have complicated days? Or it's just uh, one day maybe yes, one day maybe it's like kind of relaxing, or every day for you is uh, stressing? Um, usually, mm -hmm. my day is stressing. <laughs> okay, so it means that most of your days are stressing. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, in what area uh do you do do you work? What is uh, quality the... control? Ah, so in that case, yeah. Quality control. So, uh, so you're like in charge of checking the quality of uh, of of the job, basically, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm I might understand how stressing and difficult might be sometimes. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> Here you go. Okay, Katia. So, what about you, Juan? I see that you're not working right now. That's good. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good Hi, evening, good everybody. Um, I, I have rest again. Um, ah, okay. You got a day off today again. Yes. Oh, that's cool. But, but tomorrow is my turn. Mm -hmm. um, I have to, I have, I have to arrive at six in the morning. Ooh. At six a.m. in the morning. Uh-huh. Very early in the morning, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's been like super early. Okay, but at least you got rested yesterday and today, man. That's good. Yeah. That is good. All right. Perfect. So, Guillermo, how about you? How was your day? Mm, it was fine. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of work to do. Not really. A lot of work. All right. Typically, your your yes. your your days are stressing, or do you have any a specific day that you feel like is the most stressing one during the week? Well, it depends because if I have to answer a lot of calls in my work. Mm -hmm. Ah, so you. It you... is stressing if the the client is angry with the company. Ah, uh, so basically you work in customer service? Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, okay, yeah. For me, every day is wonderful at work, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Now, working, working in customer service is like very difficult, very complicated. You don't know uh, the kind of people that you are going to face every single day. There are angry people yelling at you, uh, screaming at you. But there are people who are very patient, explaining you the, the, the issues and everything. Right. And they are like very like they, they know oh. that they want. Exactly. 
So it's and like that is that is easier for me because <laughs> you work with a different mood. <laughs> Exactly, exactly, right? You are not like that complicating your life. Ah, oh, man, I know how stressing it is. When I was back in the past, like, like, let me see, in 2020, right after the pandemic, we were still in the pandemic. When I was working in a call center, specifically in a in a in the customer service area, and yeah, man, it's stressing, super stressing. So I reached a point in which I said no. This work is not for me. I mean, I I, I complicate that much on that, so ah, it's difficult. <laughs> it's difficult. But, and but you feel the customer is always right. <laughs> you feel mentally ah tired at the end of your shift. <laughs> mm, not much. It, when you have gotten a custom, yeah, not that much. But when you are getting used to it, you are getting accustomed to it, it's difficult. Yes. And well, <laughs> my coworker uh, said that I'm, I'm very patient with the with the client. Ah, so that's one advantage that you might have. Because there are people yeah. who are working in customer service that they are not very patient at all. But they have to be patient. Otherwise, uh, the department in which Katya works Fells down in there, right? What are you yelling at the client? So you don't have to be like this, this, and this. So quality control kills you in that time. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, Katya? <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, it's good. It's <laughs> difficult, it's difficult. Le va a contar una, teacher. Se lo va a contar así en español porque en inglés lo veo algo complicado. Ajá. Eh, ha activado una nueva métrica. Que, bueno, nos han quitado el hall y el mute. Entonces, oh no, no todos los headsets traen para colocar mute. Hay unos que sí ya lo traen incorporado, pero los que no, sufren. ¿va? Entonces, uno de mis compañeros le pusieron cero en calidad porque eh, como nuestro departamento es cambios voluntarios, nosotros le hacemos los cambios a los clientes de Avianca. Entonces, uh -huh. o pagan o se friegan. <ríe> Hay una culpa nuestra. Nosotros se los hacemos y va a viajar, sí o no. ¿verdad? Y fin. Uh -huh. Y ahí muere. Entonces, hay gente que bien especial porque fui, ni saben dónde están parados. Pues. O sea, uh... Y le dicen a uno, no entiendo. Y uno se la trata de explicar de la mejor forma, pero como son, ya sabes, le les faltan cinco par pesos. Sí hay gente que, así como hay gente que uno... Mil dólares son, dale, 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 porque ya saben lo que quieren, viajan súper seguido y no les importa. Yeah. Pero esta gente que por 100 dólares está ahí fregando y pagar 100 dólares por un vuelo, eso es súper barato. Por un cambio es súper barato. Oh my God. Entonces, And... mi compañero uh -huh. se sacó tanto de onda que le hace así, se escucha pesado ese. Como que oh, pujó, ¿no? yeah. pero lo hizo por no tratarlo mal, lo hizo por no tratarlo mal. Es diferente cuando uno lo pone en hall o en mute y dice, ay, este señor tan... <ríe> y ya, oh, yeah. uno se libera. Y you got like, oh, pero... man, I got this client. <ríe> yeah. ah, ajá, correcto. Entonces le afectaron yeah. y le pusieron un cero por eso, imagínense. Oh, my God. No, man, that's difficult. Hey, but, pero, that's, that's not good, man, que le hayan quitado el, el hold and mute, that is not really cool, man. No, I don't know. It's putting sí, more pressure se han, on you. Se han, puesto, se han puesto bien estricto. Es que lo que pasa es que así como hay asesores que son muy buenos, que son muy, muy buenos, que son pacientes, que yeah. le hacen todas las cotizaciones que quiere el cliente, porque eso le gusta a todos, ¿verdad? No, no solo me estoy poniendo en, en el papel de empleado, sino que como un consumidor, como un cliente de alguien más, Exacto. Y a mí me gusta que me atiendan bien, ¿verdad? Entonces Exacto. no me gusta que me hablen pesado, me gusta que me den una buena solución, una respuesta que me, que, que me convenza, pues. Precisely. Porque pues, yo, trabajo, yo sí. trabajo en ese medio, entonces yo sé que no solo es un no, no se puede, ¿verdad? Sino que hay que buscar opciones. Options, exactly. Pero ajá, hay personas que se lo complican a uno porque piensan que uno es el dueño de eso y, y no es así, pues. Exactly, exactly. No se dan cuenta que por más que renieguen, por más que se quejen, o paga, o mejor que corte la llamada, porque ya no, 
no avanzar. That's the way. Oh my God. No, I mean, that's, it's complicated in those type of, of uh, works like that, jobs like that. Uh, así que. I'm pretty sure que su compañero de trabajo no volverá, no volverá a hacer eso otra vez. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Le so... quedó curado. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Ha dejado los, los, los suspiros así profundos a, a, hasta, hasta final de shift. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, guys. So let's start over with uh, what we are going to be discussing tonight. Uh, I'm going to go straight to the attendance list, but give me one second. Somebody sent me a text message. Okay, thank you for letting me know, Susana. Thank you. Okay, so Adi Beatriz. Adi, Adi, Adi. Ah, yeah, she's there. Mm, Ana Cristina. Okay. Ana Cristina. I'm your teacher present. Okay, perfect. Brian Aldair. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Uh, Carlos Antonio. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Carlos Enrique. Present teacher. Very good. Claudia Marcela. Is Claudia here? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she is not here. Doris Alejandra. Present. Okay, excellent. Evelyn Karina. Present. All right. Uh, Graciela Saraí. Here. Okay, good. Guillermo Eduardo. Present. Okay, nice. Uh, Irma del Tránsito. Mm -hmm. All right, so she is not here. Jacqueline Yvonne. Present teacher. Ah, okay, excellent. Juan Carlos. Can you cute this term? Good. Katia Maria. Present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Kenya Maricela. Yeah, you see, is Kenya here? Okay, so she's not here. Uh, Maritza Elizabeth. Present. Okay, good. Marvin Alexander. Present. Okay, Pedro Rigoberto. Pedro, Pedro, Pedro. All right, so Pedro is not here yet. Rosalie Yvonne. Present. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, Susana Carolina. Ah, yeah, she's working right now. And the last one, Teresa Noemi. Teresa, I am here. Present teacher. She is there. Okay, very good. All right, guys, before starting with the topic that we are going to be discussing tonight, I would like to start with a short feedback about the things that we were discussing last class. Okay, so what was the main topic that we were, guys, discussing last class? Oh, in general terms, what do you remember from last class? Yesterday, we studied the topics um, a step to write a formal email. Ah, and something, okay. and, uh, and something did for, for make them more effective. 
Mm, okay, interesting, very good. What else do you remember, guys? ¿Qué más recordamos? Thank you, Juan. We see different tips to write an email. Ah, uh, okay. So we were also uh okay discussing some tips to write an effective email. Good. What else, guys? What else do you remember? ¿Qué más recuerden? Let me see. In terms of uh, uh, speaking about last class, Evelyn, Karina, what should I not write on the, an email? Mention something I should not write or avoid in email. ¿Qué yo debería evitar escribir en un correo? Mention something. Mencioneme algo que yo no debería de escribir. No debería usar. Okay, check on that, Evelyn. Uh, Maritza, tell me something that you should not write on an email or you should avoid on an email. Um, do not use abbreviation. Ah, okay, very good, that is one. Do not use abbreviations, right? Why not? Because if you are writing a formal email, abbreviations should be avoided, right? Very good. Thank you, Maritza. Evelyn, give me another one. Something that, that it came to, my, to, to your mind, Evelyn. Algo que usted considere que no debe ir o debe evitar. Como... Ser, este... Por ejemplo, Evelyn. ¿Qué Por debería? O sea, ¿qué? Ajá, ¿qué debería evitar en un email formal? Eh, no ser grosero con el cliente. Ajá. ¿Crees que es correcto, Evelyn, que yo escriba todo en letras mayúsculas? Mm, no. All right. So, entonces sería avoid the use of capital letters in the whole document, right? So, basically, that's avoid using capitals, right? Evitar el uso de las mayúsculas in the whole document. Okay. So, those ones are like just a couple of tips, right? that you can not include in an email, all right? When you are doing a formal email. And yesterday, guys, you were doing the, the activity in which you were basically mm, typing an email for me, right? So you were doing that. And basically that was like the last activity that we were doing, if you remember, but, if you remember, guys, we did not practice the conversation that we had one page below that. I mean, above that, if you remember, right? So what are we going to do? We're going to practice a short conversation here in the main section because I want to listen to you guys, all right, throughout this practice. So I'm going to share a short presentation. I'm going to show you. Uh, the topic that we are going to be discussing, right, and how we're going to be working tonight. 
school. So this is the topic, guys, that we are going to be discussing tonight. It has good etiquette at the workplace. Have you ever heard the word etiquette before, guys? ¿Han escuchado antes de esta palabra? Good etiquette at the workplace. What do you think is etiquette? En, en español, sí, teacher. <laughs> and what, is, what is in Spanish? Como buena presentación. Okay. Uh -huh. Forma de comportamiento en diferentes lugares. Excellent. Very good. Yeah. So basically, that is going to be the whole class focused tonight, right? The good etiquette at the workplace. Cool. The most relevant or the class agenda throughout the, the whole class. We're going to have the review from the previous class. Something that we are about to finish with the conversation. Then we are going to be talking about good etiquette. After that, we are going to uh, have some reading exercises in the manual. Okay. After that, we are going to be checking the grammar of those exercises. And at the end, we are going to be working in a couple of activities regarding to the manual, okay? So basically, uh, that's like all we are going to be doing for the rest of the class. So let's go over that, okay? This is the conversation that I told you guys that we did not do in here. So you practice it in the breakout rooms, but we didn't practice it in here. And it was related to what? To the tips that we were discussing about writing a formal email. Okay, there, let, me, let me get this. Okay, good. I'm going to read the conversation one time, guys, so pay attention and then you will help me out with, uh, I'm on you, okay, between you. Let's say this is a conversation between Amanda and Luis. This conversation is in the page that we were working last class in the manual, okay? So it says, Amanda, do you often send emails? Do you often send emails? Luis says, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Amanda says, is it appropriate, listen, is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business mails? Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? Luis says, no, it is not professional, no. It is not professional. Amanda says, I see. I see. Could you share more tips? Listen up. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? More tips to write effective e emails? Luis says, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, right? Good. Nah, 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 nah. Let me see, let me see, let me give me one second. Okay, great. Who wants to be uh, the first participant? Can me quiere ayudar? Siendo voluntario primero. Who says me? Everybody is going to participate. Me. Okay, Doris and Marvin. Okay, help me out. Doris, be Amanda and Marvin, Luis. Okay. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It is appro appropriate 
to use abbreviation in the business email? No, is it not professional? I see. Could you share more, more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, sure. Thank you, Doris, and thank you, Marvin. You did it excellent. Now, Juan, can you help me out with Katia, please? Yes. Okay. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviation in this email? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay, very good. Yeah, sure, it says. Very good. Now, let's move on, guys. Let's move on. Thank you, Juan, and thank you, Katia. Ana Cristina, help me out with Maritza, please. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use abbreviation in, um, in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay, very good. Thank you, Cristina and Maritza. Now, Guillermo and Evelyn. And who is start, teacher? Uh, Evelyn. Start, Evelyn, and you can use. Okay. <laughs> Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use this abbreviation in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay, very good. Thank you, Guillermo and Evelyn. Now, Graciela and uh, Jacqueline, could you please, girls, help me out? Okay. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it's not professional. I see, could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, so. Uh, do you often see emails? Yes, I do. It is a profession to set a prevention is business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write everything, emails? Yeah, sure. Tiene el micrófono apagado, teacher. Ahora entiendo por qué. <laughs> I was speaking to myself. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry, guys. Uh, thank you to you both, guys. You did it back and forth. That's cool. All right. Uh, let me see who's next. Carlos Rivas and Brian. Help me out, please. Okay, teacher. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use a relation in business emails. No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, Carlos Antonio. And uh, give me one second. Pedro, are you as a listener today, guys? You cannot participate uh, today, Pedro?
Se me fue Pedro. Okay, no, he's there. But probably he's working. So, Carlos Antonio, help me out practicing with. Uh, give me one second. ¿Quién me falta? Y los demás todos están de listeners today. Mm -hmm. Rosalie, you sick or you're working? One question, Rosalie. ¿Está mal de salud no, o está trabajando? My baby is sick. Ah, your baby is sick. Okay, so, but you can, can you, can you practice a little bit only for, only for this conversation? Yes. Okay, cool. Let's do it with Carlos then. Okay. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use abbreviation in business emails? No, it is not a professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay, great. Yeah, sure. There you go. Thank you to you both guys. You did it excellent. Gracias. All right. So I think everybody has already participated in here. So let's move on, guys. Let's move on with this. Etiquette. Guillermo, could you please help me out reading this part? The noun etiquette describes the requirements or behaviors according to each aspect of society. Ah, okay, very good. Okay, it says, guys, listen, the noun etiquette describes the requirements of behaviors according to each aspect of society, right? So, what does it mean? Ah, que la palabra etiqueta describe los requerimientos de conductas de acuerdo a qué? De acuerdo a cada aspecto de la sociedad, right? Okay, good. So, basically, what, is, uh, re, what does this refer to, guys? Básicamente se refiere a que según el lugar donde estemos, es la forma en cómo nos vamos a comportar, right? Because it's not the same, the behavior or the etiquette that we have in the house in comparison to the etiquette that we have in the workplace, right? So that is something completely different. Or for example, the way you, you got in the workplace is completely different to the way you behave with your friends when you go out, right? So in every aspect that you move, you have one specific etiquette guideline to follow, right? So that's what it talks about this, 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 this thing. Now, let's discuss this couple of questions, guys. The first question, Maritza, help me a reading, please. Is the word etiquette familiar to you? Ah, okay, very good. Give me one second. Apparently, your uh, one of the teacher, I mean, one of your classmates is is having issues with this. Give me one second. Okay, there you go. Uh, is the word etiquette familiar to you guys? Okay, vamos a hacer algo. Listen. Porque a veces conmigo son bien pocos para soltarse a hablar y me apagan la cámara, el micrófono y me desaparecen en algunas ocasiones. Let's do something. Vamos a discutir entre nosotros estos, estas tres preguntas que les traigo acá, ok? But, pero si tienen alguna duda con eh, alguna de ellas, las vamos a leer acá y las vamos a discutir en los breakout rooms, ¿ok? La idea es que podamos compartir un poco más speaking, ¿ok? Eh, and in order to be like, you know, like practicing each other y no necesariamente estén siempre conmigo, ¿ok? Discussing these things. Uh, the next questions or couple of questions. 
check this out. It says, mention two rules of etiquette at the workplace. Are these rules important? Why? Me van a mencionar dos reglas de etiqueta en su lugar de trabajo, right? Son como los lineamientos o, o mandamientos, por así decirlo, que usted tiene de comportamiento en su lugar de trabajo, right? Is it important? ¿Son importantes? Yes, no. Y son, si son, why? Si no, why not? Ok. And then it says, is etiquette important in our daily lives? Esta silla es general. ¿Es la etiqueta importante para nuestras vidas o en nuestras vidas? Right? Cotidiana. Cool. What are you going to do? Listen. Lo que quiero es que me discutan esto entre ustedes. Like, 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 group. Ok. Y cuando vengamos acá, ustedes me compartan sus opiniones. Right? According to what you have discussed. Ok. Any question? Any doubt? ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Alguna duda de lo que vamos a hacer? No, perfecto. Mira, a, ver, a ver, teacher, perdón. Um, a ver si entendí. Uh -huh. Vamos a compartir dos reglas de etiqueta que usamos en nuestro trabajo. Correcto. Y uh, luego. You, Cristina, uh -huh. for example, the etiquette that you use in the, your workplace is completely different to the etiquette that probably Katia Maria uses in her workplace. Yes. So what you're going to Sorry. do is like share, right? Share each other's etiquette rules, okay? That's what you want to do, okay? At least okay. two. Y, y luego dijo, eh, etiquetas importantes. No, 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 no. Listen, are these rules important? Son importantes esas ah, rules? Okay. rules? Okay. Yes or no? All right, that's it. Why? Okay, exactly. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. Very good. So... These questions actually are in the manual, okay? Estas preguntas son sacadas del manual. They are in the manual, right? In the page that we're gonna be working, guys. Uh, that's uh, the page, if you're gonna open up your manuals, these questions are on page 35, página 35, donde dice, let's start. It, it are taken from there, okay? Good, but before uh, moving on with these guys, necesito saber quién está. Realmente activo. Give me one second. Ok, Cristina. Solo vayan confirmándome si están después, si están, si están uh, que no están como oyentes. Ok, ok, Cristina, Brian, they are ok. En Carlos Enríquez. I'm going to put three and three. Guillermo, Graciela, Evelyn, Karina, Maritza, Katia, and Juan. Ok. Marvin, Jacqueline, and Doris. Right. And I'm going to include one more, Carlos Antonio. Okay, good. Los demás son oyentes, así que los voy a mixtar ahí. All right. Let's enter, guys, to the breakout rooms. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes, and then we're going to come back in here, okay? Let's go. Try to enter to the breakout rooms para los que están de oyentes y no pueden participar, igual entren eh, just for you to listen, okay? Para que escuchen un poco sobre las, la, la, like the practice that your classmates are, are, are doing, okay? See you there, guys. To rule of etiquette at your work well, workplace, Okay. Are these really important? Why? Number two. Number three. Is etiquette important in our daily lives? Okay. Bien. Ask the first question. Is the word etiquette familiar to you? Yes. Okay. So... In my family, 
usually um, for, for me more or less and you um, se dice en inglés <laughs> el qué pero yeah. what <laughs> Teacher, se vale decir more or less. More or less is like más o menos. Yeah, so, so, more or less. Ah, ok, pero solo basta decir así o hay que especificar más? Mm. Es que etiqueta en esa... En eti, et, la palabra etiqueta en El Salvador como que no mucho. <laughs> Ajá, yeah, but in this case... Veamos como la palabra etiqueta como el comportamiento, right? The behavior, la edad. Ah, ok. Yeah. Es que ajá, yo, yo tendía etiqueta como que medio leí ahí que como que sentarse a la mesa, usar los tenedores adecuados, no masticar con la boca llena. Entonces, mm -hmm. traducido a la empresa, es un poquito más, mm -hmm. más como políticas. Ajá, uh, uh -huh. no, pero actually, eh, etiquet... Eh, viéndolo de un, de un aspecto generalizado, etiquette puede ser inclusive un buenos días, buenas tardes, Salud. cómo le va, all right? Eh, es la forma de cómo... Es talk. Right? Exactly, right? Es, okay. this is, please, excuse me, right? This is a way of etiquette, good etiquette. For example, oh, in, in my school, mm -hmm. uh, the guys... Um, app or the app, no sé, mm -hmm. uh, for um, anything teacher, uh -huh. eh, eh, llega, llega, no sé, uh, right, 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 uh, to the classroom, mm -hmm. the guys, uh, stand up. Wow, yes. that's cool, that's cool. Um, is uh, como una señal de respeto, digamos, como una demostración ah, de respeto. Exactly. It shows mm -hmm. respect, that's true. Mm -hmm. That's good, that's good. Uh, otro sería, teacher, knock, knock before entering. Not? Knock before entering. Llamar antes de entrar o tocar antes de entrar. Ah, knock. Mm -hmm. Knock before entering. Exactly. Yeah, but, okay. That's good. All right. But, Let's be sharing more, okay? Brian, ayude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There you go, guys. All right, let's continue, guys. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> que acabamos de compartir. Jesus Christ, I was talking to myself. Uh, so you had done that? Good etiquette at the workplace, questions to discuss. Blah, blah, blah. How come vamos? You finish? My God, people, you are very fast. That is good. Graciela, you've been sleeping? <laughs> no, todavía no. Estoy escribiendo <laughs> la respuesta, calma. Que uh, no del pánico. <laughs> no, I, and I was like, are you sleeping? <laughs> Esperaba una respuesta así como que, in the process, teacher. <laughs> okay, there you go. So you're still writing. That's le, cool. Le puedo responder algo así como I'll be there in five minutes. Exactly. <laughs> ah, man, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, let me see. Ta, ta, ta. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to go and check another group then. You're going good, guys. Este también, colocarme zapatos especiales para entrar a visitar. La primera, me parece. Si la puede armar, en, okay. o la podemos armar en inglés, está bien la primera. 
the clubs. Okay, entonces, then, um, no smoking inside the office because it is danger for health. Second. Um. The second, a ver, okay. let me see. All, all of codes must be used to enter specific areas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ya se te hecho una pregunta guay, pero... que de hecho ahí está. Guay. No Entonces, da, da la, la respuesta. Porque sí hay que, hay que tener un, un porqué. A la could ah, must sí. be used to enter specific areas. Why? Ah, you mean the love code, uh, the, the, white, the white bath? Ah, ok. Yes. Must be used to enter a specific area. Enter to a specific areas. To enter to a specific areas. Okay. To enter. Oh, is it okay or no? To enter to a specific areas. Ah, okay. To. Very good, very good. Marixa, Marixa. Um, is, well, Is true, bueno, ¿verdad que escribió la suya? Sí. And the, um, the chat. Be respectful. Let me see. Let me see. Ah, ok. Okay. Let us see. No stress. Why, eh, Marixa? Pero yo entendía que en general después dice que si las reglas son importantes, las que mencionamos anteriormente, entonces, yes. Yes, yes. Are you go, guys? ¿Cómo vamos? En el segundo question estamos dicho. Ok, ok. Good, good. Y de ahí, una sola respuesta daríamos o cada quien sus respuestas, dicho. ¿Cómo lo están haciendo acá? Pues hicimos dos cada uno, pero nos, nos, ¿cómo se dice? Nos dictamos una en común. No problem. Yo voy a hacer las preguntas y ustedes me van a leer lo que tienen. Si tienen diferente, usted me va a decir lo suyo. Doris lo de ella, Carlos lo de él. ¿Ok? Ok. okay. Nice. Um, para eh, el niño va a malcriar. ¿Cómo se dice malcriado, teacher? ¿Cómo se dice malcriado en inglés? Misbehaved. Hate. No, misbehaved. Behave. Misbehaved. The opposite of Mis Mal portado. Misbehaved. Mm. Ah, ok. Okay. Maybe. And number 
Number four is etiquette important in your daily life lives because they define rules of behavior. ¿Por qué definen reglas de comportamiento? No sé. Yes. Um, also, why? Uh, okay. Uh, it shows education. Yes. And. Um, respect, como es respect. Mm -hmm. Education, respect. Mm -hmm. um, and, and number three, because order and education define use. And number four, because they define rules of behavior. Para distinguir, ¿verdad? Entre la tres y la cuatro. Uh -huh. Para ir eh, definiendo, la primera dijimos, is the word etiquette familiar to you? En, en mi caso, more or yes. less. Uh -huh. Y en you? Yes. Yes. In my work. Um, uh, mejor ahí en el, el espacio. Espacio. Um, Ajá. Sí. Este, este es mejor. Ajá. Espacio. Space, no. Sí. Space, ¿verdad? Yes. A ver. Sí, pero sí, space, solo es. Uh -huh. Space. A ver, space. I O no, space. ¿verdad? Space. Space. Delete. Ok. Uh, three question. No? Um, is it important? Is it quite important in your daily life? In nuestra vida diaria? Depends. And, and the work is necessary, but in, in our house, I think so. <laughs> ¿Qué piensan? ¿La? Estoy copiando la otra. I'm sorry. Ah, okay. ¿Qué piensan? What do you what do you what do you think? What do you think? The number three. Yeah, number three uh, is uh, quite uh -huh. important in your daily lives. Es importante el, la etiqueta en nuestra vida diaria, pienso que es. Sí, algo así. Sí. Yes, sí. yes they, they are important. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> Why is important? Why is important? Mm. Uh, no se podría decir porque nos ayuda a ser más. Ser, <laughs> no, no, no creo. Why? It's very, uh, it's very complicated question. ¿Cómo la podemos responder, chicas? Ahorita. Teacher, help. Uh, 
regula nuestro comportamiento. ¿Cuál? ¿Regula? No sé esa palabra. Si no la... Ajá, pues, es de cambiarla. Permítame. Re... Pero dígale no, pero está idea. Bien. Pero sí está bien, fíjese. Está bien, porque o regula porque... nuestro comportamiento. You guys, everything okay? Yes, teacher. You finished? Mm. Nosotros decimos que sí. <laughs> okay, very good. Let's go into the main section, okay? Okay. See you there. Okay, guys, let's start over with the questions. I'm going to start with the first question, guys. Is the word etiquette familiar to you? Guillermo and classmates, is the word etiquette familiar to you? Mm, yes, teacher. Who are you working with, Guillermo? With Evelyn, Graciela, and the other, I don't remember, but they are listener. Ah, okay. Evelyn and Graciela. Graciela, is the word etiquette familiar to you? As I ask Guillermo? Yes. Ah, okay, cool. Uh, and uh, Evelyn, right? All right, so Evelyn, what about you? Is it familiar to you? Yes. Okay, guys. Now, can you mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace? In your case, Evelyn? Uh, not the screen. Do it properly. Have adequate vocabulary with placement. Adequate vocabulary with, with, uh, with the what? With classmates. 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 <laughs> you mean yeah. compañeros? Sí, yes. Con los compañeros. But, but yeah. compañeros de trabajo, correcto? Yes. Yeah. Okay, Evelyn. Eh, compañeros de trabajo sería co-workers. Co-workers. Eh, se lo voy a enviar en el chat. Así. Co-workers. Así. All right. Esos son compañeros de trabajo. Classmates es compañeros de clase. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. Very good. Thank you, Evelyn. Graciela, what about you? Yes. Uh, one of them is don't shoot. Shout, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Shout, uh -huh. shout. Shout in the offices okay. and don't make a lot of noise at lunchtime. Ah, okay. Okay, good, good. Thank you. Guillermo, what about yours? Mm, to rule of etiquette at my, my workplace, the first one that we have a dress code mm -hmm. from. Uh -huh. Monday to Friday. Uh -huh. And the other is that we can be arguing with our co-worker. 
Oh. Alessandra has en esta cama, por favor. So basically you are not allowed to be arguing with a coworker. Yes. Okay, okay, good. No es permitido discutir con otro compañero. Mm. All right, acceptable. There you go. Very good. So thank you, Guillermo, Rafael, and Evelyn. Now, Cristina. Who were you working with, Cristina? Yes, teacher. Who were you working with? Yes. ¿Con quién está trabajando? ¿Con quién está trabajando ahorita? Con Carlos Rivas. With Carlos. Andreir, pero está, no ha llegado a su cosa todavía y con Ari, que está okay. bien. Ok, very good. All right. Is the word etiquette familiar to you? Uh, in my case, yes. Uh, uh, at my job, there is an office where there is a secretary who deals with marketing and etiquette. Ah, that's good. Yes. That's cool. All right, so Carlos, what about you? Is it familiar to you? More or less, teacher, the term label is not so used. Mm, okay, okay. All right. There you go. All right. Uh, what about the next uh, question, guys? Listen, mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. Uh, in your case, Carlos, can you mention them? Uh, no before entering, say hello before going to work. Okay, okay. Good. The connection, Carlos Elias, Carlos Elias, Carlos Elias. It's Carlos Elias. Ah, yeah. Carlos, you got, you, you, you reestablished the, the sign up? Solucionó los inconvenientes con el, la señal? Oh, no fue. Give me one second. Give me one second, Carlos. Sorry about that. Ali. ¿A qué te mandé, pues? Espérate, ¿no te vas a quedar sin sonar otra vez? Hacete algo. Eso. It talks like that. Ok, let me see, guys. Permítanme. Estoy enviándole un mensaje a su compañero. Ah, salga y luego se conecta. Compañerita Evelyn tiene encendido el micrófono. <risa> Mujeres al poder. Hasta aquí se oyen las nalgadas, que le da la niña. Mm. <risa> no, Gracias, compañero. No, Evelyn, es que, es que si no es así, no hacen caso, right? <laughs> that's true, man, that's true. Bueno, well, espero que se conecte, Carlos. Ok, good. Uh, Cristina, what about you, Cristina? Can you please uh, tell me at least two rules of etiquette that applied at your workplace? Ok, for example... Uh, comentaba, ¿verdad? The, go, the guys stand, stand up as a show of respect when a teacher comes to the classroom. Very good. Mm -hmm. Another is um, username, sobre nombres, ¿creo? Sí. Nicknames. Use nicknames. Uh, nicknames. Uh, no, 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 no. No nicknames, no están permitidos. So, so okay, no. nicknames are not permitted. Okay, nickname, nickname. Se lo va a escribir en el chat. Okay, nicknames. thank you. Like this, nicknames, apodos. Okay, okay very good. Okay. Um, also, uh, during the lunch, uh -huh. the teacher... Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Andamos ahí merondeando en las mesas de, de comida. <laughs> Are wondering. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, eh, 
Ajá, ajá, eh, for eh, enseñarles, each, each, ajá, eh, etiquette, for example, eh, los codos en la mesa, no, y a veces agarran el tenedor así, no así, <ríe> so, <ríe> Sí. Ah, ok. okay. Y si se va a levantar, que tape la comida, que cierre el, 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 el plato. O así. Oh, that's cool. That is good. That is good. I wish, I wish, for real, I really wish something like that can be applied here in Oriente. Actually, here in Oriente, it's like very difficult to see institutions like that, even in private institutions. In Usulután, there are two institutions that are, they are like, like in the top of private institution, like the best institutions for uh, first, second, and third uh, semester, you know, like from, from school. Mm -hmm. But education, the education is good, but students, uh, are complicated and the way how how they behave right is like very complicated in terminos de enseñanza bien pero en términos de modales and all those things yeah. it's complicated yeah. yeah it's not difficult it's very difficult it's complicated very very difficult that's why i'm saying right it's like ah why so, every day you repeat every day yeah, I mean, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> okay, so, all right. So it was uh, everything. So thank you, Cristina, and thank you, Carlos. Now, Juan, who are you working with? Yes, go with Katia and Marixa. Okay, cool. Is the word etiquette for you three, familiar? Yes, yeah. it's so it's familiar to see there are rules uh, of coexistence at work. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Now, um, can you mention, Carlos, I mean, Juan, uh, two rules of etiquette at your workplace that you apply in your workplace? Okay, uh, no smoking inside the office because okay, it is dangerous okay. for her. There are specific areas for smoking? Yes. Ah, okay, good. Uh, don't, don't use tattoos, hallucinate guns. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I think in every, every place it might be, that, that is applied, okay, good. I mean, it's complicated, it's complicated, Javi. No, I mean, the society here in the country is like super complicated on that, on that aspect. Because if you have a tattoo, people consider you that you are a gang member. And actually, I mean, if you have a tattoo, it doesn't mean that you are a gang member, right? But ah, society here is weird, man. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the society here is a tantito special, complicated. Si usted lo ven con un tatu, aunque no sea alusivo a nada, pero... Oh, man, you are a gangster. Bla, bla, bla. And I was like, ah, okay. Now, I mean, it's complicated. Ah. Tan chivos no son los tatus, pero... We cannot use them, right? All right, good. So, related to that. Uh, Maritza, can you mention two rules at your workplace? that you generally apply? Mm, be respectful. Be respectful, okay, very good. That's really important. And the other one? Uh, use of the of formal clothing. Ah, use formal clothes, really? <laughs> oh my God, like, like the place I work, I had to wear a formal shirt, I had to wear a tie, you know, there's a tie over here, and it's an obligation. If I don't wear a tie, I cannot enter to the institution. It's complicated, right? 
But, but it, you get accustomed to that. I mean, that's cool. All right, Maritza, thank you. Who was the other one? Katia, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, teacher. <laughs> All right, Katia. What are like the two rules that you generally apply for etiquette at your workplace? Okay, a uh, lab coat must be used to enter to a specific area. Ah, okay. And, and a special shoes must be used to enter to a specific area. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. No por nada, trabaja en quality control. ¿no? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, there you go. Very good, Katia. Now, let me see who else. Uh, Doris. Who were you working with? Thank you, Juan, Katia, and Maritza, by the way. So, Doris, who were you working with? With Carlos mm -hmm. and Marvin. Ah, okay, very good. So I'm not gonna ask if, if the good etiquette is familiar to you because you might say yes. Now, go straight to the etiquettes that you use in the workplace. In your case, Doris, what are like the two rules of etiquettes that you use in your workplace? Okay. Uh, the respect the lunch time. Ah, respect the lunch time, that's good. And get to work early. <laughs> get to work early, good. Have you ever gotten late, Doris? Um... Sometimes. <laughs> ah, sometimes. Oh my I, god. I. Uh huh. I. No sé, casi, casi nunca. I mm. almost never. I almost never because I open the showroom. Uh huh. And and I, <laughs> o sea, oh, yo abro. <laughs> Ah, okay. So you are by obligation has to be the first one. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay, okay, okay. Good, good. One question, guys. Ustedes que viven en zonas céntricas like San Salvador and, and the surroundings and everything. Man, ¿cómo ustedes calculan para llegar a tiempo a sus trabajos con el enorme tráfico que se hace en San Salvador y sus alrededores? Esa es una habilidad enorme, right? We, we get up early. <laughs> really? Everybody getting up early? Jesus. Yeah. That yes, traffic. get up early, yes. That five, and a, five and a half is cold. Uh, go to the work. That traffic is complicated, right? So, básicamente, ustedes tienen que tener la idea de, ah, voy a, a irme dos horas antes para llegarle a tiempo, right? Yes. Y rogando porque no haya un accidente, porque si no, ya llegué tarde. Oh, my God, yeah. Three hours. <laughs> That's super complicated. Ah. Y uno acá en Oriente llorando por cinco minutos de tráfico. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, me downtown is a Ah, traffic estaba super complicado. 10 minutos, man, the traffic. <laughs> yeah, <we do. laughs> it's super different. But, anyways, yeah, I mean, we got a custom, right? Depending on the positions. Okay, good. Uh, so, mm -hmm. let me see. Uh, who else besides Doris? ¿Quién más iba con usted, Doris? I don't remember. I forgot it. Carlos and Marvin. Ah, okay, thank you. Marvin. Mention two rules of etiquette. Um, appropriate, 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 appropriate behavior at work. Okay, good. And arrive five minutes before checking time. Ah, okay, so it's an obligation to be you to be five minutes before the checking time. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. That's good. That's good. Very good. And uh, Carlos? Okay. What are yours, mister? Uh, do not use a cell phone during workhouse. House. Okay. Don't be sharing memes, right, in, in, in during the job. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Yo compartiendo memes sobre no compartir memes en horario laboral. Right? Okay, anyway. Yes. Ajá. What else, Carlos? You just mentioned one. <laughs> you need another one. Um, this is uh, very important and the hard work obligation and this may uh, efficient and responsibly. Okay, okay, yeah, all right. That's part of the good etiquette that you got to follow up on the, on, the, on the place that you work, right? Okay, very good. Thank you, Doris, uh, Marvin, and Carlos. Good, so let me see, who else is in here? ¿Quién más me falta que no ha participado, guys? Jacqueline? Are you participating? Creo que no, right? Eh, no, teacher, estaba de oyente. Ah, you were as a listener. Okay. All right. No problem. Okay. ¿Algún grupo que se me haya olvidado? ¿Me haya pasado? No. Okay. There you go, guys. Now, let's jump into the manual, guys. Vámonos al manual because we got a lot of things to do there. Okay, so we were here. Now, guys, listen up. Ahora sí vamos a leer. Let's go to read, guys. We need to read. Listen, what are we going to do with this? Vamos a leer este pequeño, pequeño artículo que tenemos acá. Super small, right? Okay, y vamos a darle respuesta a estas cuatro interrogantes que tenemos acá. Check this out. We got one, two, three, and four. Okay? Good. Let's do it here in a general way. Y luego nos vamos a ir a trabajar en, 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 en los breakout rooms. Dice, good etiquette at the workplace. Todos me van a ayudar a leer. Okay? So everybody's going to help me reading. Guillermo, let's start reading, please. And good etiquette at the workplace. There are many workplace uh, etiquette. Uh, Guideline. I don't know how. Guidelines. Guidelines. But the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, uh, that is okay. okay. However. Stay there, brother. So everybody is going to participate. Thank you. All right. Uh, Jacqueline, please help me out to continue. However, uh, however, okay. habitual. Give me, give me one second, give me one second. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Listen, right? Cualquier palabra que ustedes no comprendan, subrayenla o anótenla y al terminar ese pequeño párrafo, la vamos a, lo vamos a clarificar, okay? lo vamos a aclarar, okay? Good, sorry, Jacqueline, continue, please. Okay. However, habitual like comer are never uh, uh, okay. <laughs> are pre never appreciated. Appreciated in any organization is if you go to your office on time, you should talk that you are responsible and you respect the organiz organization. Okay, the organization. Okay, stay there. Thank you, Jacqueline. Juan. Hi. Is you, is you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette, your night. Guideline? Guideline? Guideline will be to call the concerned authority uh -huh. and report the reason why you are late. Okay, very good, guys. From that paragraph, guys, do you have any question with the vocabulary? De ese, de ese párrafo, ¿tenemos yes. alguna pregunta? Okay, go. Tell me, which words do you not understand? Se las decía. Yeah. No, ya, 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 para, porque el párrafo es grande, así para no. Ah, ok. Eh, sí. Guidelines. Guidelines. Guidelines vienen siendo como guías. Right? 
like manuals, guidelines, pautas, Ay, manuales. However, however sin means embargo. sin embargo. Exactly. Thank you, Juan. Commerce. All right. Uh, commerce, eh, eh, personas que vienen. Yeah, eh, commerce. Yeah, personas que vienen. Y okay. toda la frase, entonces. Es, es, esto es como habitual, habitual, habitual late comers. Las personas que vienen tarde. Uh, siempre uh, vienen tarde. Are never appreciated. Uh, dicen. Las personas que siempre llegan tarde o vienen tarde nunca son apreciadas en ninguna organización. Right? That's what it says. Commerce hace referencia a las personas, ¿ok? Yeah. And concerned. Concerned is like, like uh, appreciated, in this case, uh, important. Let me see. Where is it? Ok, it says, para que me entiendan. Uh -huh. Then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority. Las autoridades concernientes o correspondientes en este caso. Um, mm -hmm. Ok. And report the reason why you're late. Sometimes it depends on the position. Good. Any other word, guys? From this paragraph? Everything okay? Nice. Si todo está okay. Let's go down. Katia. No me he participado, right? Yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's okay. continue. Etiquette. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employer or clients in any part of the world. In this case, those, 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 those case, cases, 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 mm -hmm. it is necessary to mm -hmm. have good, uh, good knowledge. Good. Listen, knowledge, knowledge, okay. knowledge, knowledge mm -hmm. to the workplace, emails, etiquette of other. Conscious. Okay, thank you, Katia. Thank you. Evelyn, you have not participated, right? Okay, good. Continue. In the official email, you need to mention the subject clearly, clearly, uh -huh. um, and be you, concise. Be concise. You also need to include all uh, the important details you show use formal and grammatically correct language for email. Okay, thank you, Evelyn. Very good. From the whole paragraph in here, guys, do you have any question with the vocabulary? Oops. The heck is going on? Yes, teacher. Okay. Knowledge. Knowledge, conocimiento. Knowledge means conocimiento. Any other uh, word? No. Perfect. Let's continue. Graciela. Boy, boy, boy. <laughs> okay. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette mm -hmm. in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be mm -hmm. polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisors. 
listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Okay, very good, Graciela. Very good. And this is my paragraph, guys. Do you have any question with the vocabulary? Something that you don't understand from here? Or oh, everything is okay? No, no. Avoid. Avoid means evitar. Thank you. Okay. Igual. El que teacher, perdón, ¿qué significa? Avoid. Avoid means evitar. Evitar. Wrong significa erróneos, equivocadas. Acá, avoid wrong interpretations, evitar interpretaciones erróneas o equivocadas, ¿ok? Okay, y careful. Careful, careful es cuidadoso o cuidadosa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, acá. Esta dice say carefully. Uh, listen to what they say carefully. Carefully, en este caso ya, ya no es careful, es carefully. Eh, ya no es cuidadoso, sino cuidadosamente. Ya es un adverbio. An adverb. Escucha lo que ellos dicen cuidadosamente. And do not interrupt. Y no interrumpas. Ok, very good. Now, let's move on. Brian. You there, Brian? Uh, etiquette. Y, ¿cómo era? Guidelines. Guidelines are important even when okay. you even? are even even uh -huh. when you are celebrate celebrating with your co work co worker. Oh, very good. Uh -huh. If you get a call uh -huh. when you when you are eating eating say, eating say. Say, excuse me. Uh -huh. and, and then, then receive the call. Okay, receive the call. The call. Very good. Thank you, Brian. Now, Marvin. And do not tell loudly while eating. And remember to close your mouth when you check. When you should. When you show, show, actually, show. When Good. you show, you should remember that your behavior and manners are you, manners are, are under observ, observation. Observation. Observation and following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future prom promotion promotions okay very good thank promotion. you Marvin. promotion very good from this last paragraph over here guys do you have any question with the vocabulary something that you do not understand no, yes yes um, how do you say loudly, loudly alto. alto loudly loudly alto Right, that's what it is. Uh, Cristina, what do you say? Yes, uh, behavior. Behavior, comportamiento, conducta. Eating. Este, eating. Uh, okay, eating. acá eating es el verbo eat, solo que acá, porque llevo una preposición acá, while, me obliga a poner ing, pero este es el verbo eat, de comer, eat. Aquí dice, do not talk loudly while eating. No hables fuerte mientras comes. Ok. Good. Any other word from here, guys, that you might have issues with? Show. This one. Show. Yes. This action, check. What am I doing? Masticar. Right? Let's mm -hmm. show. Show. Yeah. 
show gums, show the food and everything. Remember to close your mouth when you show. Recuerda cerrar tu boca mientras masticas. <laughs> All right, good. Any other word, guys, from here? Okay, todo bien entonces? No more words? Okay. Teacher, uh, how do you say erupto in English? Erupt. Ah, okay. Erupt. <laughs> okay, there you go. Now, these ones are going to be done by yourself. Ahora sí, los pueden mandar a trabajar y esto sí lo van a hacer ustedes, okay? Good. What do I want from here, guys? I want you to read these prompts and answer the possible uh, correct options depending on the article, okay? For example, hagamos la número uno. Dice, if you know you are late, you should... Si sabes que estás tarde, que llegas tarde o vas a llegar tarde, you should, deberías. Option A, compensate the time, compensar el tiempo. B, call the person you report to, llamar a la persona a la que te reportas. O C, do not do anything about it, no hacer nada sobre el caso. Which one do you think is the correct one? Oh, the letter B. Letter B. Let it be, yeah, call the person you report to, right? That's the most appropriate. Very good. All right, guys, I want you to do number two, number three, and number four, okay? Lo vamos a hacer en, en los breakout rooms, but give me, give me a second. Voy a explicar lo demás, okay? Para ya no estarlo viendo acá y hacerlo todo de una vez. When you finish doing this, okay, I want you to go down, okay? Y quiero que se vayan a esta parte en exercise four. Dice acá, check this out. You are in charge of a group that is going to visit another company to make an alliance. Write a short etiquette manual for your colleagues. Supongamos que ustedes, los que están en el grupo, all right, están a cargo de un grupo de personas que van a ir, listen, o que van a manejar, okay, un grupo de personas que van a ir a visitar otra empresa, otra compañía. ¿Ok? Pero ustedes necesitan Sorry, que su personal se porte bien, haga todo bien, ¿ok? Entonces ustedes lo que van a hacer es escribirles un guideline, escribirles un manual de good etiquette, de qué deben hacer y qué no deben hacer, ¿ok? Entonces acá pongan así, etiquette, manual, year, y aquí le ponen el año, y el mes, June, o May, o whatever, Aquí ya tienen el número uno. Dice, greet anyone in the facilities. Saludar a todos en las instalaciones. Good. Como están varios en cada grupo, me van a hacer... Agréguenmele una más. Agréguenme seis guidelines acá, ¿ok? Sobre cómo deben de comportarse ellos en la otra empresa. ¿Ok? Good. That's what we are going to be doing. So I'm gonna stop sharing in here and I'm gonna send you to work, guys. All right, let's open up the breakout, uh, the breakout rooms and let's go there. If you have questions, press the button, ask for help, okay? Let's go, guys. Okay. Carlos Antonio, who were you working with in the previous uh, exercise? Yes. ¿Con quién estaba? Um, Marvin. Ah, ok, perfect. Number four. So lo voy a enviar. Ok, number, number four. Ok, ahora sí, dele aceptar, por favor. Ok.
Uh, Graciela, can you enter, Graciela? Or you, do you have problems to enter to the breakout room? And it's just there. Mm, Cristina, what about you, Cristina? Do you have issues? Do you have any inconvenience to, to enter to the breakout room, Cristina? Uh, can you listen to me, Cristina? All right, so I guess you got issues and that's the reason why you are not answering. Teacher. Yes. Uh, number three, uh, what is the meaning? Uh, what is, uh, which is not good etiquette when talking on the phone? Ok, ¿cuál es, no es, cuál es un, no, listen, cuál no es una buena etiqueta cuando se habla por teléfono? Dice, hey, speak using clear voice, hablar usando una voz clara. B, interrupt the other speaker, interrumpir el otro hablante. You, uh, C, use polite language, usar lenguaje uh, educado. ¿Cuál de esos okay. se debe hacer? Let it be. Exactly. Thank you, teacher. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, teacher. Bien, eh, vamos al number four. Number four, Brian. Okay. If mm. you receive a call while you're eating eating with coworkers you show tú recibes una llamada cuando tú estás comiendo con tu compañero de trabajo tú deberías ignore the call and continue eating as with the call on the table leave the table and as with the call este no, no gritar o no interrumpir. ¿Cómo es que dijo Graciela? No utilizar vocabulario. Ah, no, no, Pero eso, ¿cómo sería? Quiero... Teacher. Yes. Ya escuché que entró. ¿Nos ayuda con eso? Yes, Abro of course. Yo vocabulario soez. ¿Mm? ¿Vocabulario soez? Yeah, in that case, soez, words. Pero se entendería que quiero decir no usar malas palabras, ¿verdad? Exactly. Okay. Entonces, Guillermo sería don't use. So it's words. Mm, but it's don't say bad words don't or, something, or something like that. If you don't want to use so is words, actually it is understandable, but you can use uh don't use an or, or don't use unappropriated words or unappropriated vocabulary. Unappropriated vocabulary you refer to bad words, right? Vocabulario inapropiado. An, an, ¿Cómo era? Unappropriated. 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 
pero se escribe inapropriati. Exactly. Con doble P. Inapropriati. I'm going to write it down in here. It's like this. Así. Yes. Inapropriati. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. People in the, for example, people in the United States, generally, uh, when they talk about bad words and everything, they don't say like bad words. Ellos usan esta palabra. Cousin. Como don't, don't cuss other people. Like this, don't cuss other people. Don't. Permítanme que no les estoy enviando a ustedes. ¿A quién se lo estoy enviando? Jesús. <laughs> <laughs> Give me one second. Ahí está. Ahora sí. Everybody. Don't cuss other people. Eh, es como cussing. Es como a los salvadoreños. La pala las palabras que empiezan con P y terminan en R. No. Vituperiar. R. A otras personas. Exactly. Right? So literally that's like like saying bad words, right? Okay. Mm, solo faltaría uno. Hello guys, how do you go? Como vamos? Very, very good. Very well. Very, very, very good. That's good. That's great. That's nice. Very good. Jesus Christ. You know what? I have recently, recently I have bought a pair of uh, AirPods, like the one that Katia has. Y no los puedo usar usted? <laughs> What? Sí. I mean, Very easy. No, 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 no. Listen, es que siento que siento que me va a reventar el oído. Lo siento así como que bien, bien, bien. Uh, el sonido bien raro. Yo es like, ¿qué caramba? Si yo ya estoy envejeciendo. ¿Qué pasa? I cannot use this. Nah. I don't know, man. I cannot. Listen, I got them in here. Por cierto, aquí los tengo. But I don't know, man. I feel uncomfortable. No sé, siento raro ponerme estas, estas cosas acá y siento que se me, no sé, me, my, my, my ear como que no me, no, me, no me furula, como dicen. Yo porque ya he regalado un par en, la, en los buses, se habían caído. No, prefiero la vieja escuela. I don't know why. No, that's why. Por eso ahora eh, igual me tocó comprar uno, uno, unos así. Sí, no, ya, sé, no, no, ya regalé un par de eso. Eh. Yes. Se me cayeron los sentí. Yo saliendo de mi casa, me lo pongo, cuando regreso, me lo pongo. Casi todo el tiempo ando con ellos. No, but, but, no sé, no sé, no sé, Katia, si es que es porque es por esta cosita, por esta cosita, o, o qué pasa, pero siento que, siento que eh, eh, como que no, no, me, no, no me siento cómodo poniéndolo dentro de mi oído. Tiene como una, una especie de, de forma para ponerlo, porque si se lo coloca mal, siente incómodo. Siento como que es que ha agarrado aire en el oído y todas que camino les. Oh. It's like, what? No so funny. And I was like, oh, ¿podrían devolverme el dinero? And I was like, no. Eh, o hay que acostumbrarse. Yeah, we gotta get a custom. El otro día, bueno, sí, anti, ayer fue. Venía bien tranquilo caminando cuando de repente puse, me salió uno y salió rodando por la calle. Y yo así como, no, no, no. Me sentí. 
<laughs> oh my god technology is getting is getting me freaking out marixa ah, okay Oh, Maritza is only listening. <laughs> no. Solo prestando no, atención, okay. Maritza, y riéndose de mi dolor. Estoy, estoy pensando. <laughs> I know, Maritza, yo sé, yo sé. I know, I'm just kidding. Okay, very good. Dun, dun, dun. Sure. Yes. Um, Bueno, no sé si un, bueno, una petición se la podría hacer en este momento, ya que yeah, man, tiempo, no, este, no este día, este día me toca a mí quedarme los, los diez minutos. No sé si puedo hacerlo mañana. Mm, ok, no problem. Sustituir ahí la persona que le toca mañana, pues yo le curo ese, esos diez minutos. That's ok. Thank you. Mañana. No <risa> let, me, let me see. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, pero es bueno porque aquí puedes sacar las dudas. Puedes preguntarle Exacto. todo lo que sienta dudas en 10 minutos. Él tiene toda la responsabilidad. Yeah, de... Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's the, that's the way. Por eso es que lo hago. Por eso es que se hace. Yeah, it's you. Because yesterday I stayed with Jacqueline. Today is you. And yeah, Katia. A usted le tocaba mañana, Katia. Así que hoy se me va a quedar, ¿ok? Ok. Ah, okay. Cool. Pero, pero es bueno, como te digo, yo ocupo eso de mal, ya tengo ahí cuatro tópicos que necesito. Ayuda. Nice, <laughs> nice. Okay, thank you, Marixa. You speak it. Good, so I'm going to go and check another group how they're going. Um, Un par de unos cuatro o cinco minutos más, and then we're going to come back, okay? Okay. The, the first is respect the opinion the, of others, and the second, great read and introduce yourself appro appropriately. Appropriately. <laughs> Appropriately. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. You're getting ready. Carlos. Repeat. Repitamos la que hemos puesto. Be courteous. Opening the door, respect the line when mar marking, listen and respect the opinion of others, identify yourself and respect the assigned parking. Mm -hmm. No, tu sería. Mm. Sí, mm, pero me pero... Sí, pero es que no, no sé cómo formular la, la que te dije, así como puntual, como, sí, como ser puntuales a la hora de, de visitar la empresa, o ser puntuales a la hora de partir, algo así. Eh, no. Al respetar el almuerzo. No, mejor sería leer el reglamento antes de entrar a la empresa, sería. Va. Porque hay unas empresas eh. que ponen el reglamento antes de que entre, va. Por ejemplo, Ajá. cuando está el uso de la mascarilla, a favor, dentro de la planta, usar el, el equipo de seguridad. Ah, o... vaya, mejor podemos poner esa, fíjate. Usar el equipo adecuado durante la visita, por si es alguna planta. Y ponemos la última, como entendría, tendremos que agregar otra mapa. Podemos poner esa, leer el, leer el reglamento para una, mayor, una mejor visita o, o a la hora de entrar a la empresa, como había dicho. No. Pero sería, ajá, eh, 
reading the reglament. Uh -huh. Sí, esas dos escribamos ahorita. Right, entonces sería, un, la, sería usar el equipo de protección adecuado. Sí, traducido using eh, the protection equipment, creo que sería. Ajá. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Va y la última ponemos esa leer el reglamento. De la, de la compañía a visitar, algo así, o los lineamientos. Sí. Sí, la anterior era Use the Protection Equipment. Ajá. Ok. Sería. Reading, no sé si me... reading the rules. Ajá. Reading, reading the rules of company. A mí, uh, a mí me sale read the regula regulation of the company. Viene dando lo mismo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Regulation. No. Read the rules of company, le puse. Mm -hmm. It's basically the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's okay. Yeah, it's basically the same. Okay, same. So that was the last one, right? Repeat, teacher. Is that the last one? Yes. Okay, good. So now we can go back to the main section. Entonces, ahora sí ya podemos volver, okay? See you there, guys. Let me know when you're come back, coming back, guys. Okay, guys, so let's continue. I'm going to share this. Okay, let's start first with uh, the checking of what we were just doing in this part, right, from the article. Uh, all right, Guillermo, can you please help me out reading number two and uh, the options and then tell me which one is the most appropriate answer for it and the option letter no 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 read everything and then give me the option okay what is a tip to apply in official email mm -hmm. the first one is send the email in english uh -huh. and the second one is use a long salutation Good. And the third one is express the subject clearly. Okay. What is the, the correct, correct one? is the last one. All right. Basically, the correct one is express the subject clearly, right? Very good. So, yeah, that's the correct one, guys. Okay. Good. Thank you, mister. Now, uh, let me see. Guillermo. Choose another uh, classmate to help me out with number three, please. 
Juan Fuentes. Cool. Juan, read the the read everything and then give me the possible answer, okay? Okay. Which is not good etiquette when talking of the phones? Good. Letter A, speak using clear voice. Mm -hmm. Letter B, interrupt the other speaker. Mm -hmm. Letter C, use polite language. Okay, very good. So Juan, which one is the most appropriate one? Letter, letter B. That is not, right? Good etiquette when talking on the phone. Very good. So that's the appropriate one in here, right? Interrupt the other speaker. That's not something uh, appropriate. Very good. Choose another one, Juan. And thank you, by the way. Okay. Um, and let me see. Um, Anybody? Marvin. Okay, cool. Marvin, we're in number four and the possible answer. Okay. If you receive a call while you're eating with co-workers, you should uh, A, ignore the call and continue eating. Good. Letter B, answer the call at the ta table. Mm -hmm. Letter C, leave the table and answer the call. Okay. Which one is the most appropriate, mister? Letter C, leave the table and answer the call. Very good. Yeah. That is the most appropriate one. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Marvin. Now, guys, let's jump into the activity that you were doing. Right. All right, uh, and I'm going to start with, let me see, give me a second. Marvin, give me a, na a name so I can start, please. Let me know con quien quiero comenzar. El primero que vea, Marvin, no problem. A menos que se quiera sacrificar solito y diga, a mí, teacher, me. <laughs> Igual va a pasar. A <laughs> Marvin, a give me one a name, woman. brother. A woman. Marvin, you got the microphone off. <laughs> Excuse me, teacher. <laughs> okay, and Cristina. Ah, Cristina. And Brian is like, oh my God, I'm, I'm the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Cristina, Brian, and Carlos, right? But I think Cristina, I don't know, but I see her with a camera off. I don't know. Did she help you guys? No. She didn't participate with you? Okay, so I guess. No. All right, so I guess she's busy or something else. Okay, Carlos and Brian. Pueden leer eh, tres cada uno. All right, no problem. Thank you. Vaya, uh, la primera, como dice el manual, ¿verdad? Great, every. John in the facility. Ah, greet everyone in the facilities. Okay. Uh -huh. Number two, be courteous, be opening the door. Ah, okay. Uh, number three, respect <laughs> the line when marking. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, teacher. Num number four, listen and respect the opinion of others. Good. Number five, Identify yourself and respect the assigned parking. Ah, okay. Number six, use the protection equipment. Equipment, okay. Very equipment. Good. And number seven, re read the rules of company. Read the rules of the company. Okay, very good. Yeah, I mean, those might be like the, some basic guidelines, okay? There you go. Thank you, Carlos and Brian. Uh, you guys, can you give me a name to start? Katia. Katia. Okay, cool. Katia. 
Okay. Um, First, Katia, yeah, no. Who, who are you working with? Okay. Uh, with Juan and Maritza. Okay, so it's Juan. Okay, read two. Maritza, the other two, and Juan, the rest, okay? Okay. Give your under veil. I don't know. Eh, attention. Under veil. Attention. I don't know. Eh, say. Uh, what do you mean by that? Um. In Spanish, what, what, what is that, Katia? So I can help um, you out. Como poner toda la atención. Ah, okay. It's basically undivided. Undivided, I'm sorry. <laughs> and arrive on time. Arrive on time, okay. Thank you, Maritza. Number three, turn, turn off your phone in a meeting. Okay, very good. Number four, use the appropriate language. Ah, okay, very good. Now, Juan, read the other ones. Don't don't say bad expression. Mm -hmm. And dress appropriate. And dress up appropriately. Okay, very good. There you go, guys. Thank you. Give me uh, the next uh, participants, please, for the, the for for the actions. One name, give me one name. Cualquiera. Only listen. Okay. Uh, Ana Cristina? Ah. <laughs> she did it by herself. No, Cristina was busy, so that's why she couldn't participate okay. in that. Yeah, All right. Okay. I um, understand. La traen conmigo, ya vi. No, es que hay poco de dónde escoger, dice, porque todos dicen oyente. <laughs> Yes. Um, Marvin. Okay. All right. There you go. Thank you, Marvin. Okay. Oh, um, to the, start, to start, to start, Marvin. Who were you working with? Uh, con Carlos Antonio y Doris. Okay. Cool. Read do read two. Doris, another two, and the other ones, uh, Carlos, okay? Good. Let's go. Okay. Um, the, the first, mm -hmm. always maintain education. Mm -hmm. The second, raise your hand to participate or has a question. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. The next one. Respect the opinion of others. Aha. Uh -huh. The second is the greet and introduce yourself appropriately. Appropriately, okay, very good. Okay, so number five. Mm -hmm. is with good, good vocabulary. Mm -hmm. and number six, say goodbye and thank you for the attention received. Okay, very good. There you go. Thank you, Mr. All right, uh, next, Jacqueline, who were you working with? Hmm. I think she was, she was a, as a listener. All right, Graciela. You there, Graciela? It was with you, right, Guillermo? Yes, it's true. Ah, okay, cool. Can you start with it with, with two and then uh, the ones that are missing?
Okay, and these are the etiquette manual. Mm -hmm. Okay, the first one is greet everyone in the facilities. And number two, follow the instruction of the guide. Good. Number three, always stay together in the group. Nice. Number four, and do not use inappropriate uh, vocabulary. Okay. Number five, and uh, do not shout in the company. Okay, good. Number six, don't throw the trash on the ground. Oh, don't throw the trash on the ground. Okay, good. And the last one, be polite to other employees. Okay, very good. There you go. Thank you, mister. Good, guys. Who's missing? Guillermo's group was the last one. Creo que sí, era el último. All right, guys. Let's remember. In general terms, etiquette or good etiquette, it's basically every behavior that you have in every aspect or ambit, ambit of your life, right? In the society. Recuerden una buena etiqueta, en teoría es, todo aquellos comportamientos y conductas que usted tiene en cualquier ámbito social, right? In your house, in, in your workplace, with your friends, and everything, right? Good. Uh, bueno, antes de irnos, guys, recuerden, continúen con lo de las tareas. Eh, todavía tengo personas que me hacen falta, eh, que todavía no me han terminado parte de las tareas número dos. Please, people, eh, no quiero llegar al punto en el que les vayan a llamar, right, para preguntarles qué sí, qué pasa, por qué no las han hecho. Entonces, eh, para evitarnos inconvenientes, tratemos de ponernos al día, ¿ok? Eh, con las tareas que nos faltan. Hay algunos que todavía no han hecho el examen, el midterm, y ustedes saben que eso es un requerimiento necesario, right, para evitarnos inconvenientes. Entonces, de la manera más cordial y amable, les solicito que por favor lo terminen para los que no lo han hecho, ¿ok? Remember, es mejor que vayan al día para así evitarnos right, atrasos uh, unnecessary. Y si tienen dudas, preguntas con relación a actividades, uh, muchos se han abocado a mí, me han mandado mensajes, ¿ok? O... Uh, you have written in the group, okay? Tienen muchas opciones de cómo poderlo hacer, right? So that's like, for, that's everything for tonight, guys. I'm going to go and pass the attendance list, right? So just give me one second. Uh, Adi Beatriz. All right, so Adi was there. Uh, Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Uh, Brian Aldair. Present teacher. Okay, good. Carlos Antonio. Present teacher. Okay, good. Carlos Enrique. Oh, yeah, Carlos told me that he was got to get busy. Claudia Marcela. All right, so she's there, but she's as a listener. Uh, Doris Alejandra. Present. Okay. Uh, Evelyn Karina. Present. Good. Graciela Saraí. Present. Ok. Uh, Irma del Tránsito. Irma. Uh, she got connected. Okay, I didn't see her. Uh, Jacqueline Yvonne. All right, I guess she was there. Juan Carlos. I am here, teacher. Cool. Katia Maria. All right, Katia, remember that you're going to stay with me because of Juan Carlos, okay? Then tomorrow is going to be Juan Carlos. Uh, Kenia Maricela. Guys, can you listen to me? ¿Me escuchan? Good night, everybody. See you, see you tomorrow. <laughs> What's happened, teacher? 
Mala hora en que se me fue el internet. Sorry, guys. I was, I was passing the attendance list. All right. Sorry, sorry for that, guys. Okay. Me quedé en Kenia Marisela. Right. Was Kenia here? Okay. So apparently she was not here. Uh, Maritza Elizabeth. Present. Okay. Good. Uh, Marvin Alexander. Present. Okay. Pedro Rigoberto. Is it there? Yeah, I think it's Pedro acá. Uh, Rosalie Yvonne. Present. Okay, and the last one, Susana Carolina. Present, teacher. Okay, great. Very good, guys. Thank you for getting connected to this video conference, guys. And let's see you tomorrow, okay? Bye bye guys. I hope you have a wonderful yeah. night, okay? Good night. Bye. Good night, Good night everybody. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye. 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 -bye. All right. Da 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 to clarify any question, any doubt that we can have related to this class and previous classes, okay? So if you have questions, this is the time for you to ask, right? Okay, thank you, teacher. All right. Uh, the question, not really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Ah, porque si sí, la mayoría de cosas me quedó claro. Eh, solo ah, la pronunciación que sí me cuesta un poco, pero Ajá. de todas las clases sí las he entendido bien hasta el momento. Ah, me das cool, das cool. Ya, yeah, y pronunciación, eso poco a poco se va a uno adaptando a través de la práctica, ¿verdad? Right? Básicamente eh, la práctica es la que poco a poco nos va a como desenvolviendo, soltando un poquito más la lengua en algunas palabras que a veces nos cuestan, right? No, ah, es verdad, es cool. Me alegra de que vayamos comprendiendo sí. la mayoría de temas, that's cool. Eh, sí, así que es. Ah, that's cool. Pues, si um, preguntas, preguntas, no. Ajá. De algún tema en específico, no, no tengo. Ok, that's nice. Con relación a la plataforma, eh, Pa, 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 pa. Eh, everything is okay. Vamos bien. No questions with that. No, vamos bien. Ah, okay, very good. Perfecto. Entonces, like, if everything is okay, si todo está claro, all right. If no questions, nada más lo queda practicar un poco, right? Para que poco, poco a poco vayamos soltándonos más, right? At the moment of speaking, and that's it. And let's move on. All right, Katia. Hey, teacher. Thank you. Okay. All right, Katia. Entonces la dejo descansar because I know that you are tired today, right? So, <laughs> sleep, Katia. And see you tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow, teacher. Thank okay. you. Okay. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.